I mean, it's a great honor. Um, you know, any, any time that uh, you know you can be part of uh, you know something um, you know like this, you you you, you know you, it, it's a very humbling experience. Um, I, again, for me, it's you know I, I don't I don't like doing a lot of these things. Uh, I don't do many of these things. Uh, but I, I do think that you know for me, um, you know I, I I was able to recognize at an early age that you know. I am who I am, or, or people, uh, you know, I'm thought of the way I'm thought of is, is, is because of the media, uh, be, because of uh, fans, and, you know, and, and you have a certain obligation to, to give back to that. And, uh, you know, and again, I, I definitely try to do as much of it as I can individually, one-on-one, -on -one. you know, when people come up, I try not to do big events like this very often, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's something that, uh, you know, again, very humbling and uh, very honored. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the, the high school career was, uh, was, was tremendous to, to, to get to live. You know, I, I wrote a book, Living a Dream, and, and that's really what it was. I think any high school kid um, would, would love to have lived the life that I lived as a, as a, as a high school basketball player. Um, you know, to, to, to win a state championship your senior year in front of 41,000 people, um, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't write stuff better. So um, obviously to, to be here today, uh, you know, it, it's a great honor um, to have, uh, you know, had a career that, that would merit this type of recognition. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful to the Pacers and, uh, you know, for giving me this opportunity. As years have gone by, you're, you're able to look back on it, uh, you know, a little bit more now than maybe what, what you were at the time and, and, and to understand it and, and really to maybe understand the magnitude of it. Uh, you know, I mean, I think just uh, talking about the 41,000 people at the state championship game, you know, at, at that particular time, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, were you nervous, were you whatever? and and we really weren't because we were used to playing in front of, you know, sold out um, gyms, you know, all, all across the straight state for four years. You know, I mean, obviously that may have been five or six thousand seat gyms instead of 41,000. Uh, but, you know, we had a lot of games that, that were moved to Hinkle, a lot of games that were moved to Assembly Hall to, to accommodate crowds. So, you know, playing in front of that number of people at, at, at that time. You know, it was just another game for us. Uh, you know, and I think people have a hard time understanding that, but uh, but it, but it's the truth. But you know, now looking back on it, and uh, you know, with all the records that you know that you have and and everything, um, you know, they, they say records aren't made to be broken, but I, I think that's one that uh, is going to be very difficult to break.